Hi, it's Elise here at Bowman Library with a whole new teen book spotlight. So for this week, we are taking a look at books that feature neurodiverse characters. So what exactly does that mean? We are looking at characters that see the world differently because their brain might be just wired a little bit differently than someone who's neurotypical. So we're looking at characters that maybe have like autism or maybe they have some schizophrenia or you know something along the lines that they just see the world differently from maybe how you or I see the world or maybe you're neurodiverse and you get to read about characters who see the world just like you see the world. So what I love about these books is they give you a chance to see the the world through other people's eyes, gives us some insight and maybe you even find someone that you can relate to in a book, which is amazing. So we have six books to take a look at, so let's get started. Our first one is Say What You Will. So growing up with cerebral palsy, Amy has always been in this life in which it's always walkers because she can't walk unassisted. She's always using text-to-speech devices. Plus, she's always around adults. So she is 17. She is getting ready to enter her senior year of high school, and she makes this proposition to her parents. Instead of having adult helpers this year, she really wants to gain more interaction with her peers. So instead of having like an adult helper, can a peer be her helper during the day? And that's where we meet Matthew. So he's struggling with his own issues from OCD and anxiety to his own fears of the future. And the two of them start to develop this kind of tenuous friendship, which then kind of starts to grow into this unique relationship in which they both kind of start to gain feelings for the other. And they can't help but wonder what is going on between them. Is there something more going on between them? And if, it, if there is, what could that actually look like and could it work? So in this honest, realistic look at high school, especially when you'll get everything differently, you'll be along the ride for with Amy and Matthew to figure out what they want out of life individually and possibly together. This is Say What You Will. Kids Like Us. So Martin is 16 years old, he's living with autism, and he finds himself in France for the summer with his movie director mother who is working on a new film. And he is super excited about this because living in Los Angeles, he goes to a school that isn't neurotypical, and he's going to a summer school program in France in which everyone is neurotypical. So he's gonna be around people that he never usually gets to be around. But as he sets off on this journey, he wants to make the most of it. He can't wait for it. He knows his life is going to change, but maybe just not as he envisioned it. He tries to make friends, but many of his peers, they just are using him to get close to his mom and the movie stars. And maybe not everyone is as genuine as they seem to be. And having autism, Martin's having a really hard time trying to figure out what exactly are real relationships and what exactly are the not real relationships. How can he tell the difference? You get to follow Martin through this summer as he makes real friends, falls in love for the first time, and figures out how to manage all of his relationships with even when they might be falling apart. This is Kids Like Us. Marcelo in the Real World. So narrating Mar uh, Francisco X. Stork's novel here is Marcelo Sandoval. He's this brain functioning, um, artistic, autistic 17 year old boy and he has this ability to hear music internally. So Marcelo's differences in the world go unchallenged though because he attends this special school that's for kids just like him. But when it comes time for, for summer, his high rise lawyer father decides Marcelo needs to gain some real world experience and he makes this deal with Marcelo. If he gets a job for Marcelo, he does it for the summer, then he will pay for Marcelo's upcoming school year. If Marcelo does not get this job, he's not gonna pay for the school. And Marcelo loves this school. He has to go to this school. So he agrees to his father's proposition. And before he knows it, he's a mailroom worker at his father's law firm and it is a summer in which he faces new obstacles. He learns about life's dilemmas from romance and desires to competition and injustice and how people treat each other and how he wants to be treated. And he sees life firsthand for real 
in all of his life. You will be along for this journey with Marcelo. You will find yourself rooting for him, cheering for him, wondering what you would do if you were in some of the situations that he finds himself in. This is Marcelo in the real world. Somebody please tell me who I am. So when Ben Wright graduated high school, he surprised everyone and he enlisted in the army. His family, friends, girlfriend, they, they were shocked and stunned. Like this was never even on the radar. So they're even more surprised that he is quickly shipped off to, to fight in Afghanistan. They're incredibly concerned. And then their worst fears come true or one of their worst fears. It is in Iraq that he is buying an IED when it explodes and all of a sudden out of nowhere life changes and he has this brain injury that he has this dramatic brain damage and he cannot remember anything. I'm talking like he can't remember his past, he can't put sentences together, he's just having he He's just having a really hard time. And then Ben comes home in order to recover from this traumatic brain injury. And that is when things get even more complicated for everyone involved. This story is told not just through Ben's point of view, but it's told through other of his, of his family members, from his parents, to his autistic brother, to his best friend, to his girlfriend, who he proposes to right before he leaves. And they're, they're engaged, but she doesn't know what that means now. And you will get a full view on how Ben's injury not only impacts Ben, but everyone around him and changes everyone's life. This realistic look at how one moment can change everything is one that will make you think beyond the end of this story. I highly recommend this one. This is somebody, please tell me who I am. Girls Like Us. So Quincy and Biddy are on their own now. They have graduated high school as part of the special education track and being wards of the state, the next step is they have been placed together, not really knowing each other before this, but they find themselves being placed together to live independently in this apartment. And now they have adult responsibilities. So Quincy gets a job at a supermarket while Biddy is cleaning for the, for the woman they're renting this apartment from. And life goes on. And they soon start to find that they have more in common and they're more independent than what they thought they could be. And then something horrific happens to Quincy. And it's gonna be up to Biddy to be there for her, but also to face her past and her traumatic events in her past in order for them both to survive and to get through this. So each of the characters struggle with their own past, their identities, and what are viewed by others to be limitations, but they're actually maybe their strengths and they will have the strength to survive and overcome anything that they, they get thrown at, faced at. I will tell you this, there are some trigger warnings in here. There is a scene of sexual assault. There is discussions of physical, emotional, mental abuse that's happened in the past. It is a frank look though at how these two girls that were deemed special and by their by their peers and how they they are independent and they they come together and they survive this is girls like us and our last one for this week is challenger deep this is a neil schusterman i love neil schusterman we have talked some about some of the other neil schusterman books like if you read scythe that's neil schusterman dry Neil Schusterman. So Challenger Deep is amazing. It's no exception to the Neil Schusterman amazingness canon, okay? So this is about 15 year old Caden Bosch. He's torn between two worlds. First, the first world is the, the real world, the one that he lives in. He goes to high school, he's on the track team, that world. The other world that he is in is he's a member of this pirate crew that's on board a vessel that is going to the Challenger Deep, which is the deepest trench in the ocean. At first, these two worlds have nothing to do with each other, but as time goes on, they soon start to collide. And Caden becomes more and more paranoid and entrenched in, in fantasy and not knowing what's real and what is real. And he doesn't, he, he doesn't, he doesn't know what's going on at this point. And his parents are forced to make a decision that it's one that they probably never thought they were going to have to make before, but it's what is best for him because they find out that what is going on is he actually is schizophrenic and they're going to have to decide 
how Caden should have should should live with with schizophrenia, and what is that going to look like? So. Schusterman based this book on one of his young, one of his son's mental health experiences with schizophrenia. So, you know, Schusterman has seen this firsthand. You will have a firsthand look into the mind of someone who is suffering from schizophrenia with this book. So, I will tell you this it can be a confusing read, but if you power through it, it is an amazing and insightful story. I highly recommend this one. This is Challenge Repeat. So these are the six of the books that we have here at the library that feature neurodiverse characters. So I encourage you to come on out, check out one of these. We have others, but I encourage you to read a book that features a character that sees the world differently. Or maybe you're going to find a book that the character sees the world as you do, which is totally amazing. I hope you tune back next week when we have a whole new teen book spotlight, and I hope you have an amazing week.